Hi, boys and girls. Today we're going to do chapter 3.1 and it's double facts. Now, this, this chapter is very important. This lesson is very important because it's getting you ready to do the mental math so that you can quickly, if you know your facts, uh, you can quickly add without having to go one by one. Basically, it's like getting your brain trained to be able to do the math mentally. So these are just like very good strategies, okay? So uh, first I'm going to read a, a problem here. And I'm gonna write some notes on the top, just simple notes, and then we're gonna write a number sentence. So now it says, um, Nathan has six toy cars. So I'm gonna put an N for Nathan, okay? And he has six, toy cars. So I'm going to put six toys. Now, Alicia gives him six more. So Alicia, I'm going to put A for Alicia, gives him, this is important because gives him six more. That's your clue right there. Six more. So now we're going to write the number sentence. Now we want to find out how many toy cars does Nathan have now? That's what the question is, ask, is, is asking. How many toy cars does he have now? So we know that he had six toy cars to begin with. So I'm going to put six toy cars. Now because Alicia gives him six more, more means to add, so we're going to put a plus sign. And, and she gives them six more, so I'm, we're going to put six. So we have six plus six. And then uh, how, how many toy cars does he have now? So we know that uh, in order to find out the, uh, the sum of those two add-ins, we're going to have to put an equal. Equal tells us that the next part is the... Uh, the actual, the sum, which is the answer. So now these are doubles. Doubles, when we say doubles, means that they're exactly the same number. This is a six and this is a six. Now, how can we learn to do the doubles? Well, we can do it yeah, in many strategies. Like, we, you know, we have our hands. You're used to using your fingers. Now, to make a six, you know that you have five and one more. So basically in your brain, you already know that you have five and one more. And then of course the next one is the same thing. So you have five and one more, right? So now you say five plus five is 10. One plus one is two. So that's 10 plus two is 12. So basically you're doing five plus five, and that's 10. And then two, one plus one equals two, so plus two. 10 plus two equals 12. So he has 12. So basically we wanna make sure that you, you know, you can use your hands at the beginning just to get you used to it. But once you start uh learning the process is going to be a, you're going to be able to do it mentally so let's let's go over the uh the uh, model and draw this this is helpful because there's two ways that you can do this uh, uh when we have when we have like not doubles but you can also use the double strategy like right here we have three plus four now if i want to use the double strategy i can use the digit the uh, number three and put three plus three, but we know that uh, this is not three, it's four, so we have to add one more because we know that three plus one will equal to four. So now we can do our doubles, three plus three is six, see so you can do it mentally, and then one more would be seven. So basically th three plus four equals seven. So this is more like a, to help you start into mental math so that you don't have to use fingers all the time. At the beginning, you might have to, but you know, we need to ease out a little bit at a time. Now, if I wanna make 
Uh, I can also do it by doing the opposite instead of adding. So now for this one, uh, this one I picked the uh, smallest number. So because in, in three plus three is six, but the, the four has one more. Now I'm gonna do this one with the seven, which I'm picking the one with the greatest number. So I'm gonna go seven plus seven, is 14, but this is not a seven, that's a six. So I have to take away one. So now we have seven plus seven is 14. But now from the 14, we're gonna take away one, which is 13, and that's our answer. Now it might sound a little complicated, but it's, it's not really. As once you start getting into the, the uh, strategy, you'll be able to understand it better. So let's let's continue. Okay, so this one I can do double facts. I'm gonna show you both ways so that you can have an idea that, oh, okay, if I can do the doubles. Now, to do the doubles, it has to be either a two or a three. It cannot be a five or a four or a nine or an eight. It has to be those numbers. So we have two, let's do the doubles of twos. So we have two plus two equals four. But now we know that this is not a two, so I need to add one more. And that will be the actual answer will be five. That will be our first choice. Now, what if I wanted to do it instead of the twos? I want to do the doubles of the threes. I can do that. I can do three plus three equals six. But we know that this is not a three, it's only a two. I have to take away one from the six. So now my new answer, see this is the one that we're doing, six take away one equals five. So it will still be the same answer, no matter which uh, strategy you decide to do. Okay, so again, we have four plus five. So we can do a double, so four, four plus four, and we know four plus four equals eight. But we know that this is not a four, this is a five, so I need one more. So eight plus one equals nine. And you're doing this mentally, guys. Uh, we're, we're putting the uh, number sentence there so you can see what's going on in your mind. But we're, what the goal is, is that you start doing this mentally. Now, if you decided to do the fives, the doubles of the fives, you can. It's totally your choice. We can do five plus five equals ten. But because this is not a five, it's only a four. See, we, we, we need to take away one. So we take away one, and that will be a nine. Because 10 take away one will be a nine. So it's still the same answer. Okay, so I'm gonna choose only one. So I'm gonna choose uh, making the doubles of the three. I think the plus one is easier, but um, you can choose whatever you want. So I'm going to choose the, the number with the, the least amount, which is the 3. So I'm going to go 3 plus 3 equals 6. But I know that this is not a 3, so I have to add one more. So one more to the 6, and that will be equals 7. Okay. Okay, here again, 6 plus seven, I'm gonna choose the six, six plus six. And I know in six plus six, guys, if you if you need this, you go, okay, five and five is 10, one and one is two, so that's 12. Basically in your mind, you're doing this. You can make a six from five, and one and five and one so now you add the fives and that's 10 11 12. 
That's it. Okay, so now I'm going to pick the greatest one so that we can do minus one or take away one. So I'm going to put, put the greatest one first. Six plus six. That's the same as before, it's 12. But this is not a six. This is a five. So, you know, I put six, but it's only a five. So I have to take away one. I have to take away one. So I'm going to take away one from the 12. So that will be 11. And remember, this is just to start you with the, the uh, mental math. So you can do it mentally. Okay, so I'm going to do this one. I'll do it again, eight plus eight. Eight plus eight. Now, if you don't know what eight plus eight, you can do this. Okay, so you have eight. So you're going to do, you have it two, two times. So you go five plus five is 10. Three plus three is six. So 10 plus six is 16. But this is not an 8, so I need to take away 1 from the 16, and that will be 15. I go back 1. Mental math, guys. That's what we're doing. Okay, so here it says Mr. Norris wrote a double fax. It has the, a sum greater than 6. Now, the sum means that you're adding the, 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 the two numbers that you're adding, the answer is called the sum. And then we know that the first clue is that the, uh, uh, the sum is greater than six, okay? The numbers that he added, or the add-ins, uh, are each less than six. So we know that the add-ins, are less than six. That's another clue. What facts might he have written? So we know they're we know we're doing double facts. So we're gonna start with the first one. Let's do one plus one. Simple as that. One plus one is two. Now it says that uh, it is less than six, so the the add-ins are correct, but the sum. Remember, the, the, the sum is the answer. This is the sum. This part is the sum. Is that greater than 6? No, a 2 is not greater than 6. So that's not going to help. So now I'm going to do 2 plus 2 because they have to be double facts. I cannot do 1 plus 2. Those are, no dub. Those are not doubles. They have to be doubles. So I'm, I'm going to do 2 plus 2. 2 plus 2. equals four. So the sum of these two add-ins equals four. So the sum is right here, the sum, the number that, that he added are less than six. So these are the numbers. Are those less than six? Yes. But is the sum greater than six? Is this greater? This is the sum. Is that greater than six? No, four is not greater than six. So that's still not a good choice. So now I'm going to do 3 plus 3. 3 plus 3. Remember, we're doing double facts. So 3 plus 3 is 6. Now, it says the sum. This is the sum. Remember, the answer is the sum. Is that greater than 6? No, that's exactly the same. We, we don't want the same. We want something greater. That means more than 6. So this still is not a good choice. So let's do 4 plus 4. Now, 4 plus 4, the sum is 8. That means the answer is 8. So now we're going to look at this. Is the sum greater than 6? Yeah, 8 is greater than 6. Now let's look at the next, the next part. He, uh, the numbers that he added are each less than 6. Is 4 less than 6? Yes. So yes, this could be a possibility. 
Now I'm going to continue because I don't know, maybe I have, I have more. So I'm going to do the doubles of five, five plus five. Now I know that five plus five equals 10. Now let's look at, at our rule. The sum is greater than six. So I'm going to look at the sum. This is the sum that's greater than six. That's one point. That's one good point. And then it says the numbers that he added are each less than six. Well, is five less than six? Yeah, that's, that follows that rule. So this could also be a good choice. So I'm going to do one more, the six plus six. And six plus six is 12. Now let's look at our rule. The sum, the sum means the answer, that's the sum, is greater than 6. Yep, that's greater than 6. Covers one of the, the rules. Let's look at the next rule. The numbers that he added are each less than 6. Now, this is not less than 6. This is the same as 6. So this is not a good choice. So I know that I need to stop because I, I cannot do it anymore. So now I, I can, it, it could be four plus four equals eight. And it could also be five plus five equals 10. Those are my two possible answers. Okay. So now we're going to look at this word problem. Andrea has eight red buttons and nine blue buttons. How many buttons does Andrea have? So we want to know how many buttons does Andrea have. That's what they wanted us to solve. That's the question that we need to solve. So what information do I know? Well, I know that that she has eight red buttons. So I'm gonna put eight here. And I know that she also has uh, nine blue buttons. So I'm gonna put nine. And I, I need to know how many buttons does she have? Well, these are buttons and these are buttons. So I need to put them together because they're all buttons. They're just different colors. So I'm going to add. So I can use my double facts. I can use my, my um, double eights or the double nines. Let's do the double eights. So I'm gonna do eight plus eight equals, now I know that in eight I have five and three more. And I'm gonna do it two times. So I'm gonna say five plus five is 10. 3 plus 3 is 6. So I have 10 and 6 is 16. 10 plus 6 is 16. I'm going to put 16. But this is 8 and this is not 8. This is a 9. So I have to give it one more because see, these two match. But 8 and 9, they're one, one number apart. So I have to add one more. So 16 plus one equals 17. And that's my answer. And that's the end of the lesson.